Hello, Noe. Noe and Cesar, how are you? Uh, everything is good, teacher. Just uh, a little bit tired, but now I'm going to be with my camera off because I'm in another class from the university, but just five minutes. Okay, no problem. Go ahead and finish. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Noe. Um, fine, it's pretty nice uh, all day. Thank you for in is not raining by your house uh, 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 uh i i raining is very hard in this moment it's raining very hard yes 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 here it was raining like um, 30 minutes ago very hard but now it's now it's finishing mm -hmm. I I in my case I lost inter uh, Wi-Fi when uh I rainy is hard. Yeah, it's very uh, common. In, in, in moment, uh -huh, in moment. Yes, it's common in El Salvador because when <laughs> in, El, in El Salvador you have the storm and then poof, there is no internet, no Wi-Fi, no connection, no electricity sometimes, right? No electricity. Mm -hmm. This is the other too. No electricity in sometimes. Aleli, how are you? Fine. Fine, teacher. I live in the same place of Onoe. <laughs> oh, okay. And where do you guys live? Yeah. Where? Lourdes. In Lourdes. In this moment, it's raining hard in Lourdes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, teacher, there is only one week left. Um, where you don't. Um, time flew fl by. Yeah, four classes. Only four classes. Yes. Only one. Okay, quick. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And okay. next week is very fast okay. too because next week we have unit five and we have the final exam and then. Bye bye. Like, exactly. I see it. I see you next model. And I think the next module is going to begin. Yes. After September fifteenth. September. Yes. 15th. I think. I think it's uh, going to begin. No. September fifteenth. I, I held one email. Mm -hmm. Um. For for September. 
It's September 4th. Yes. It's very fast. It's yes. Five because I finish this, this weekend or the next uh, week, teacher. Next week. We finish next, next week. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mm hmm but it's very that's why normally they when they finish is they usually have two weeks two weeks and then the next the next course but okay very very fast did anybody else receive the email that we start september 4th in my case uh, yeah teacher also September 4th mm -hmm. okay maybe it is then maybe it's going to be they want to do it very quickly oh teacher they know I learned your want to stop us <laughs> yeah that's excellent because yeah it's, uh, it's very tired or, but I know important mm -hmm. the most important is that we continue right because also it's nice to relax but when you relax, you forget because you don't practice. It's not, it's not the same. You can review the platform and the information, but no, it's not real. You don't practice the same like in the class. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Um, I am just worried about not having the same dynamic. Uh, yeah, maybe because um, maybe you have a different teacher for the next module. Yes, I surprise you. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, what? yes. It's okay. Oh, uh, teacher, um, teacher, flash the Zootopia. Uh huh. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, it's very good. As you know, we are almost finished. Yesterday we were looking at four point. Eight. We are today. We are going to finish unit four, so that we are clear um, for Monday to begin unit five. Here we have four point eight. We have non-defining and defining clauses. Who remembers from yesterday? What is the difference between non-defining and defining? Non-defining teacher is information extra. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm, is uh, uh, information addition. Okay, correct, correct. So that's the main idea. When we take a look at the difference, non-defining is always going to be the extra information. When we have the extra information, we have commas, right? And so. Aleli, comma, who is married, comma, is studying English. Ah, who is married is not necessary information. It only is necessary, she is studying English. So I can eliminate the who is married and I have a complete sentence. And that's what we're going to do. Today, we're going to practice a little bit between defining and non-defining to complete them. Elvis, can you please read today's objective? What are the instructions for this exercise? Okay. Instructions, read the following sentences. Add the non-defining relative clause in parentheses to the sentences. Remember to use commas for the non-denied relative clauses and a period at the end. Thank you. Morena, can you please read the example? That what we're going to do, number one, the example. Number one, mm. a four game correspond travels all over the, over the world, mm. over the world. Who, who writes about even in other countries? And the correct answer, Morten? Mm. 
It's here in blue, Morena. Yes, blue. it's correct. No, read it, Morena. <laughs> ah, read. Yes, it's a the foreign, example, okay. of course. Uh -huh. okay. A foreign correspond who writes about events in other countries, travels all over the world. Okay, good. So, everybody remember the pronunciation? Correspondent. 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 Good. Okay. Correspondent. Correspondent. Good. And that's the idea. We're going to take this clause and we're going to put where we think is correct and write the entire sentence. If necessary, we put a comma. If not necessary, we don't put a comma. Here we have four sentences, but we need to think clearly on how to do it. So remember, this is 4.8. Okay, the four sentences, we're going to have a few minutes with our partners in order to complete it. Before we, we go to the groups, anybody have any questions? Oh, teacher, it's clear. It's clear? It's clear, the, the balance the, is, uh, the exercise. Okay, let's go to our groups and let's practice together the four sentences. Solo voy a conectar mi compu. Uh -huh. Hi, Morena. How are you? Hi, Michelita. Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. Ay, qué bueno. <ríe> Very well. ¿A quién, ¿A quién esperamos? Mar, Marvin es, estaba también conectado con nosotros. Que va a conectar las con tu hijo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Yes. Practice in English, practice in English. No, no improve. Ah, ok, ok. <ríe> <ríe> no, cacharon, Michelita. <ríe> Yes. Um, a, a platform teacher. Yes, I four point eight. Okay. Let's start. Yes. And I am here. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, the teacher. I invite me. Okay, no. I invite me. Okay, number one. Okay. Okay, is number one. Ya estaba resuelta. A yes. Correspond. Yes. Who rise above even in the country, travel or over the world. Okay. Number two. Number two. Okay. 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 Uno cada uno, si gustan. Yes. Okay. Uh, number two. A web page designer needs sophisticated computer technology. Entre parentheses. Uh, who is a graphic cartridge? My answer as a web page designer, comma, who is a graphic card, comma, needs sophisticated computer knowledge, punto. Okay. Then continue. Number three, an editorial page. Uh, I'm sorry, editor. I don't understand the answer because it's, it's, a, it's a new topic for me, but okay. it, you only say comma, after the web page and the comma after a sophisticated, right? No. Yes. And designer, no. after, after the designer. 
es después, después del designer. Designer. After designer. Tom. Tom. Ajá. Who is a uh, graphic graph artist? Graph. Where do you study? I study geophysics. Geophysics. Really? Do you know geophysics? Where? At the University of El Salvador. Oh. Yeah. And do you live in Salchopa? But I I study uh in Santa Ana. Okay. Yes. Yes. I I I know. I know. And uh, how long uh, is the university or uh, to your home? Well, because of the traffic, maybe one hour or something like that, but. If the way is without traffic, you know, is maybe could be thirty minutes, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. In, in driving a car. No, no, in, in a bus. <laughs> yeah. In a bus. Yeah, I don't have driving car. Driving a car is less. Like fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes, or fifteen minutes, or twenty minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very near. Okay. Okay. Uh, I share the screen. Okay. And right now. This is 4.8. Okay. So I'm going to start. The, this is the same, the same. Yeah. The, Offering correspond, correspondent yes. who writes about events in our countries, travels all over the world. Correct. Uh, number two, a web page designer needs sophisticated, sophisticated computer knowledge, who is a graphic artist. In the Respond is a web page designer, comma, who has a graphic artistic artist, artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the third one is an editorial page editor who is a daily newspaper columnist, gives opinions about current issues. Coma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, no, no. Our, our page designer, coma. Ajá, uh -huh. es cierto. Y de uh -huh. ahí needs sophisticated computer. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no. Hey, Raquel. <laughs> How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I didn't see that you were here. Sorry. Okay. All right, guys. Great job. I see all everyone finished except for one group. Don't worry. We're going to help the group that didn't finish. That way they can understand how to do it correctly. But good. I see the other groups completed. Very nice. So as we can see in 4.8, we already have the first answer, right? All we had to do was copy and paste it. Very easy. That's the answer that we needed. What about number two? A web page, a web page designer needs sophisticated computer skills. What do we put? What is the- A web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Okay. So in my case, Whenever I have this, many times, I just go, for me, I copy it, boom. And then I put in the other one, the information that's extra, right? So web page designer, and then, okay. And then I copy exactly the way that it has it there. Actually, I did the same. <laughs> you too. Yes, I think it's easier. That way, we don't have any problems with 
confusion of, oh, I typed it right, I typed it wrong, everything is good. What about number three? What would be the correct way? Or the comma is missing. For number three. Or for which one, Cesar? Mm, in the uh, web page designer, comma. Okay. Uh, well, I, I use the comma there, but I don't know. Okay, no problem. A web page designer, only one comma. When page designer, after designer, and then artist, yeah. And then after artist. Okay, very nice. But, but in the first, the first comma is after designer, not after page. Thank you. There we go. Okay. What about number three? An editorial page editor gives opinions about current issues. Where can we put this extra, this information right here? Mm -hmm. um, editorial. Okay. Page. Noe, it's difficult to Noe, listen. Noe, uh -huh. no, no, no problem. Uh, hey, uh, Aleli. Or okay. me, teacher. Or me, teacher. Or me. Me, teacher. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Go ahead, Noel. Uh, okay. Um, editorial page editor, comma, uh, who is a daily newspaper, a columnist, comma, give uh, opinions about a current news, uses. Issues. 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 Punto. Period. Okay. That, that All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. What about the last one, number four? How can we make this into the correct one? Aleli wanted to speak. Aleli. I accept columnist, comma. Okay, a gossip columnist, comma. Uh, who wants to go to Fabulous Paris, comma. Okay. Um, writes about celebrities and scandals. Okay. And there we have, very good. The correct way is with comma who writes about the events in other countries. That's number one, the example. Then number two, we follow the same structure, a web page designer, comma, who is a graphic artist, and then the information. The same for number three and number four. So if you look at the four examples, we have an idea. They all have the same structure. Whenever you're talking about a job or a profession, this time is always you can put in the extra information, right? So you can say a teacher, comma, who loves to teach, who loves education, comma, it always helps other students, for example. So this is the great technique for remembering whenever you want to write or describe a profession. How is this important? Many times when you go to the job interview or when you apply for another place, they say, tell me about your experience. Tell me about your last job. Ah, what do you do? For example, oh, I'm business administrator, accountant, uh, military, lawyer, whatever. You use this structure. Ah, oh, well, you know, um, and then you explain with details the extra information. It's okay how to use it? Yes, teacher. And yes, in, this, uh, in this uh, topic, uh, we have uh, the very be careful and the use to the comma. Correct. That's the most important. Just be careful with the use to with comma. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to be honest. I think the next activity, I feel, I feel that we already did, but I'm going to share with you and you tell me if I have, a, if I'm mistaken or not mistaken, but I remember that, especially because I remember Raquel um, discussing with somebody 
uh -huh. que le iba a dar duro a alguien. This question. Pues Luis. <laughs> I remember that. I, I think, I think I remember. <laughs> it, or, or it's not correct. Yes, right? Yeah. We, yes, we read this article or no? Yeah, we read the article and also, uh, but but the question was changed. Uh huh. I think that was the problem that they put the question in the the wrong article for the question, and then they say, "Oh, this article goes in the next unit," <laughs> and they put in the same unit for us. But okay, don't worry. The important is read a little bit. Make sure today we're going to read together to help us with our reading fluency and our pronunciation, and then we're going to go to different conversation topics. Not discuss this, but only to help with the reading. Who can read the first paragraph? Who can read that first paragraph? Me, teacher. Elvis is going to read the first paragraph. Excellent. Who is going to read the second paragraph? From why? to it, from why to it. Me, teacher. Thank you, okay. Then we got Luis, the second paragraph. The third paragraph, who is going to read number three? From the simplest to essay. Who's going to read from the simplest to essay? Me, me. Okay, can you do that again? Oh, sorry. Okay. Who is going to read from some to plagiarized? From some to plagiarized. Me, teacher. Okay, Aleli, great. The next one from although to deserve. Who is going to read from although to deserve? Me, teacher. Okay, very good, Cesar. And who is going to read the last paragraph? From so what to that? It's Santiago. Santiago, okay. He is in here. I think Santiago, no. But it's okay. We can have Laura. Laura can read. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. No quisiste, pero ni modo. All right. They took off. Uh-huh. Ya ni hay de otra, right? Okay, teacher. Pues sí, ya me eligió, ni modo. Democratic. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Let's have the first paragraph. Who's going to read? Okay. Recently, a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton discovered that uh, 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized parts of a major project, she gave them failing grades. Although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The school board directed Mr. Miss <clears throat> Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offender rather than the entire 1,800 points. Miss Pelton resigned in protest. Okay. Why, yeah. why is my turn, huh? I'm sorry, hello? I think, yes, Luis, I think you are next, right? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Why did this become such a significant history? Story, a purpose is it because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Uh, I'll try the incident my son be forget it. I uh, I remember you say uh, 
as they no, but no. I don't know I don't no, know no, I... the paragraph the paragraph uh -huh, yes ah okay it's right some important question what is plagiarism name is I don't know plagiarism? how do you, you say plagiarism mm -hmm. how serious is it okay thank Patina? you no no that's oh. it thank you The simples for simples. How do you say this word? The simplest form of plagiarism. The simples. The simples form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. What essay? Some people claim some people claim that copying is necessary to dwell in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else's. Another common argument is that everyone does it, so it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King Jr., have progressives. Good. Remember, deal. It's not a big deal and plagiarized. Big deal. Big and deal. Good. And plagiarized. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plagiarized. No, I wanted to read. I'm going to. Give my chance to Noe. Ah, okay. Noe? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, although some people find reason to justify players, other feel the issue is clear, but they feel it is not morally wrong and consider it's mm -hmm. uh, stealing a theft or mm -hmm. idea rather than money. These people believe that the studying who plagiarists benefit unfairly, they receive a very great than deserve. 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 They deserve. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment to civil? The, the teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong. Miss Felton will probably say that the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Great. Before we go on to our next activity, are there any words that you are not sure what they mean? I know that it's difficult for most people. The pronunciation is plagiarized or plagiarism. So here we're looking at plagiarism. This is the pronunciation, plagiarism. But plagiarism. good, one more time. Plagiarism, 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 and here is the verb plagiarized, plagiarized, plagiarized. Okay, are there any other words that are not clear? The yes, sir. Sorry, the pronunciation. The pronunciation here is deserve. 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 Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of the punishment? Punishment is when you do something bad, your mom is angry and you don't go to the park. You no cell phone. No, this is the punishment. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Elvis. How do you pronounce sev sever? Um, does it have an L at the end? No. In the know. last uh, paragraph. In the last paragraph. Uh, what's the original punishment to sever? Sever? Severe, correct. Severe. severe. What's the original okay. punishment to severe? Severe. Thank you. You're welcome. 
teacher, is correct the pronunciation, the word uh, recite? Uh, no. Paragraph number one? In paragraph no. number one, the pronunciation uh -huh. is received. Okay. Received. received. Or, no, 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 sorry. Is this word right here, right? Resigned in protest, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, the resigned. pronunciation. Yes, sorry. The pronunciation here is resigned. 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 Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Are the other words okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Excellent. So today we're going to go ahead. We want to practice our speaking skills. So I'm going to send you this link. Here we have lots and lots of topics that we are going to select from. You and your partners are going to choose. You are going to choose whatever topic is interesting for you. So at this moment, please check the chat. You can see. Okay, does everybody have the link? Conversation question for the is yes. air, air pressure teacher? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can choose any topic. Mm -hmm. Okay. As an example, Cesar, can you please select a topic and ask me a question from the list? Okay. Um I'm going to choose uh, Social problems. Okay. So, are are there many suicides? How do you say suicides? Suicides. Okay. Are there many suicides in your country? Well, actually, Cesar, there used to be a lot of suicides in El Salvador. Um, El Salvador, there were many people that killed themselves because of the way that the violence was in other areas. But now that El Salvador is becoming safer. I feel that suicides are starting to go down. And in fact, one of the things that many people suicided is because of emotional problems with their partner. And the other reason is because they didn't find that they had a clear goal. They couldn't find a job. They didn't have money. They didn't have opportunities. And they felt that the only way to go was to suicide. That is what you're going to do with your partner. You are going to no, yes. Yes, yes, Cesar, yes, is Salvador, yes. no, no, yes, no, why? Give details, give support, support your answer, not just, no, no, yes, explain your opinion, and then what is the reason, what is your information? Remember, it's not right or wrong, it's only express yourself. Don't worry about the grammar, we want to practice the speaking if your partner make a mistake and you know it's a mistake, tell them, oh, hey, I think it's not correct. But if not, the idea is continue to improve our fluency. Are we okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So we have the objective is fluency, fluency details. This is the important fluency and details. Everybody open the groups. Everybody has their questions ready because remember, when we make the groups, poof, disappear the questions. <laughs> okay.
understand. I understand. Tandem is like this. Tandem. Okay. A A Tandem. E A N D E M. Oh yeah. Tandem. A running chat. Tandem. Okay. That was help uh, helpful okay. for me. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Let me show you. Okay, okay. what topic do you want to discuss? Tell me a topic and I'm going to I'm going to oh search my here. God. Because we have mm. a lot of about childhood. The beach. Maybe. Uh communicate business, birthdays. Ah, birthday. What's the meaning of yeah. gambling, teacher? Gambling. Gambling. Casino. Is it food? Oh, okay. Gambling. In the casino. Okay. Never. <laughs> gambling. Uh, gay community. <laughs> have, have you ever? Um, have you ever... I'm the one to discuss about the gay community because I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm disagree with that. Have you ever going to a party? Question, have you ever what? Question: Have you ever? Uh, what is that? Have you ever happiness? Have you ever. Happiness. Ah, okay. have you ever? Okay. Or health. Uh -huh. Have you ever? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Okay. This is. Have this you is ever good. sunset? Have you ever, uh, have you ever forget um, your mother's birthday? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> oh, teacher. I, I Why, teacher? Why? Not me, Cesar. Yeah, I've forgotten <laughs> my my mother's birthday, but it was like yeah. she was she was sp speaking with me, right? And and that was like. Mm, I I my birthday mm. is my mother said mm, I'm not sure. Court. Court dice que es cancha. ¿Cómo? Court. 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 Eso lo acabo de buscar, no me lo podía. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Court. What cancha? What cancha? Cancha de fútbol. Soccer. Uh -huh. Then no. No. Eh, for, no. What? It, How do you say cancha? It depends because in English is different. It's not the same cancha for every sport. Um, for oh. soccer, it's called field. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. For field. tennis, field. for basketball, soccer. for soccer. tennis and basketball. Exactly. Soccer field, baseball field, uh, football field. For basketball, okay. for tennis is court. For volleyball is court. Ah. So depend depend the location is court or field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If has grass, remember grass or natural field, artificial yeah. or cement court. Court. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Because uh, I, I, in my case, I, I don't know. Uh, what did uh, what were uh, used to in the when I was in play football? But depend which football, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. in El Salvador we have two. We have the traditional soccer, the traditional soccer that we play in the field, like the FAS, Alianza, the the traditional, and then we have gambit. In gambit is not field, is court. Court. Uh huh. Because in gamut is not natural, is artificial. Okay. Uh huh. So like the the mini soccer is not in the field. Is the mini soccer court? Uh -huh. uh huh. That's why. That's why you have to be careful because in English, court. The, when you listen, court is that is cement. Is the floor is is hard. When you listen, field ah natural grass or the floor or the sand this is the difference 
Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Noel. Okay. How long have you had your hobby? Ahora me preguntaste, parece que es en el móvil. Forty, forty dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars for for classes. For class, eh, each class. Hmm? Each class. Mm. Each class. Mm. Each class, eh, ten dollars. Ah. Forty dollars, eh, in the month. In the month. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Each is is cheap also, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because normally thirty five dollars here normally. Mm -hmm. Yes, este the swimming classes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I like it. Learn. The teacher say what classes. Mm -hmm. What yeah, swimming classes. Swimming classes. Ah, swimming mm -hmm. class. like swimming. I like swimming more. Mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Because in Sonsonate, uh, no, there is some classes for swimming classes. In Cafe no. Talon, one dollar. Yeah. Ooh, it's very, it's very good, good information. Yeah. But the problem is, is the uh, one yeah. Dollar. Wait, one dollar. And uh, I can't, I can't go. <laughs> Maybe it's hard for you. Because I live, I live two blocks from Cafe Talon. And so the, I know because we go that the class, if you want a swimming class, it's only $1. Only $1. <gasps> uh -huh. it, one it, dollar every for, weekend. $1 for class. For class. Yeah. Now you can have $1 for class or I think. They have the promotion that is like ten or fifteen dollars for the month. For the month. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah. and you can go five days a week for ten or fifteen dollars every day in the morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which place I get the inform that information, teacher? Um <laughs> from the cafetalon office. But <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But I I don't have the number, but I can check and I tell you next week because mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's good. I, yes, because normally, like, it, like Morena says, is is not cheap, but is you know forty dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, mm -hmm. for one month in Cafe Talon for even for you know fifteen. Excellent. Months. Yeah. Excellent Cafe Talon. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. yes. But the difference is, remember, Cafe Talon is public, so it's mm -hmm, is more people. Uh huh. And Café Talón is for the, how do you say the, ¿cómo se llaman los que son públicos? I don't know. Pobres, para los pobres. Okay. <laughs> okay. We okay? Getting some good conversation? Excellent. The idea is the next one, again, the same thing. Interesting. Yes. And this is the idea. In this moment, we are going to continue one more time. We are going to change partners, change topic, and create more conversation. Use more vocabulary. Give more details. Expand. Give yourself an opportunity to challenge yourself. Go out of your comfort zone. Not, not only I, the food, the movie. No. Try different areas that is not comfortable for you to talk about. That way you can express yourself better, okay? Hey, Raquel, everything okay? Sorry, teacher, my uh, computer died. 
Yeah. No problem. No problem. Um, we change groups. So I'm going to put you into the new group with a new topic. Okay. Okay. All right. Give me the topic, please. Um, I don't know because each group is different, but let's go to the group. Ah, the cover. same. The same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only it's very it's very quiet. Oh come yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. from the cats uh, team cats. <laughs> Only <laughs> I have a dog. <laughs> Raquel, yes. what do you think? Hello, do you guys. Have a cat? Uh, hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Raquel. I don't like. Hello, no. Ah. Oh, I don't like. No, I don't like. I don't know. What do you think about the dog? Why? The dog, really? I have a Rottweiler. It's you have a Rottweiler, me. yes, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's true. You say that yeah. uh, yesterday, I remember. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I uh, We have two person team cats and two person team dogs. <laughs> I like the cats uh, are are beautiful, but mm, they have it. Many, many, uh, hours, many, see, many, mucho pelo. How many uh, ears? Many ears. I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> the the dog too, and, but uh, have a, a period when it's foul the the hair. Raquel. But and uh, you hmm? house um you house you you have and uh, you house you have uh, many space or many space how, for for uh, pets for uh, for you can have pet yeah is 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 relative. It's relative. Mm -hmm. ah, it's like relative. Uh -huh. Big. What did you? Is 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 very. Uh, have a, a a pet is very responsibility. You have a lot of money. Okay. Oh my god. I will travel. Okay. I'll travel around the world with my husband. Interesting. So nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I okay. I do. I do. Second <laughs> mom, uh, mom, honey. And, and, and you, Aleli, what would you do if you were rich? Oh, the travel. Um, I have the big, big house. Um okay. I know working. <laughs> yes. I run relax. <laughs> and Aida, and Aida. What, what do you think? <laughs> and Aida? What and would you, you, what would you do? Yes. I eat a lot and relax in my house, not working too. Yes, and <laughs> too. Yes. <laughs> Uh, travel around the world too, mm -hmm. and practice. And, and I'm going to the um, este, gym. I uh -huh, make exercise, and uh, visit okay. my friends. But but another question arises for me because, for example. What do you think? What do you think? No, why do you think people who is rich continues working? Because mm -hmm. you are you are you are saying yeah, okay if, if I'm uh, why Cesar why? Yeah, but that, that that's that's <laughs> my question. What do you think? Because more they money, more way. money, because more they money, they more money, more money, more money. Yes, more money, more money. <laughs> Mm. Uh -huh. they I'm not sure. One more, miles. I'm not sure. Why do you think? So tell me. Just is because the, of the money? 
it's good, but that is always and it's a suppose and uh, I I that the mind is relaxing and I I am rich. It's a uh, very happy. <laughs> You know, travel, Caesar. Yes, but I think you need to have a measure in your life. Like, if you are like just in your house and it's good be your with your family. But in my case, in my case, if I were rich, I, I would help people with some. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how do you say that, but it's like when an enterprise or a social enterprise for people to help people or something like that. Because I think if you are rich, you need to help people or you need to do something for the world. Because in, in, uh, that's why I think uh, people who is rich continues working, but not in a in a job or in a secular job for like customer. us, right? Mm -hmm. So I think oh, okay. that's- Okay, Cesar, one question more. What would you do if you were told you had one month to live? This is a difficult question because um, you driving a car? Uh, more or less. <laughs> uh, a uh, truck? No. With, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, and you? I, I have a friend. I have a friend which uh, he, he drives a truck, uh, Narastra. Uh -huh. And and he, he, he traveled to Metapan uh, to, to buy cemento. Mm -hmm. And and one one time, uh, I went with with him, and and he say me, uh, Elvis drive a truck, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I I I I uh, I was um, nervous, mm -hmm. but yes. Uh, yes. But driving a truck more or less uh, 20 kilometers. <gasps> yes. But it's a new experience for me. <laughs> it's a big car. It's a big yes. car. Uh, I, I, I feel I feel that the Emotion. car. Yes, I feel that the car. Beautiful experiences. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, it is it, is um, better All right, guys. Okay, very good. I listened to many of you. I like that you're talking about many different topics. Some of you, the topics I don't like, but eh, it's okay. But you continue talking. That's good. You don't agree with some of the parts, but that's the important part, right? So, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Today, we finished Unit 4. This means that next week, Monday, only four classes. Four classes and then... The exam also, we finish unit five and the exam on Thursday, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Have a great night. Take care. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.